Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, January 5th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I balance my sense of responsibility with pleasure. And let's see, over the next few days we are building to a conjunction between this Venus retrograde and Sun and Capricorn. Conjunction is when the planets are like right there working together. Um, and what I'm feeling with this is like the sun is doubling down on these Venus retrograde lessons of making sure you're making a commitment to yourself. And I think that's going to play into the astro energies today. So when I looked at the astro energies, uh, one of the things we have going on today is speaking of Venus retrograde, Venus retrograde connecting to Neptune in a sextile, which is a happy, easy, supportive connection. Um, and the quote that came to mind, and Mimi paraphrasing the quote, is like, like, I can't even paraphrase it. Thank you, Mercury pre-shadow retrograde. Let me send, buzz the feeling to you. That's what I would like to do. That's how I'd like to do the horoscopes. Like, this is, this is the feeling. Get the lesson. Um, basically, there's a quote just about, like, I don't believe in guilty pleasures. Like, like what you like, it's okay. And that's the kind of essence that came up today uh, with this Venus-Neptune connection. And I really believe in that. Like, you are allowed to enjoy what you enjoy. You are allowed to like what you like. Um, you know, and we all have different relationships. Venus and Capricorn. We all have different relationships with things in the universe. Neptune, Neptune and Pisces. And this is where that commitment thing, that commitment piece comes in, commitment to yourself. Because what happens so often is that we, we do, we have these, these guilty pleasures and sometimes we'll hide them because we're ashamed of them. Um, I'm not talking about things that are detrimental to other people, by the way, as guilty pleasures. I'm talking about like, hey, you like watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians or hey, like, Cheetos on a Saturday night is your is your jive, you know. You like to go skinny dipping. Like, what is it that is not harmful to somebody else? Um, the commitment piece is where it feels very important. So often in these guilty pleasures, we have that we have that guilt, we have that shame piece, and that energy keeps us kind of locked in an unhealthy relationship with this thing rather than allowing it to be a selected pleasure, a chosen pleasure, an enjoyed pleasure for you. That commitment piece is the commitment to yourself, which keeps it in alignment, which keeps it from flying out of balance, flying if it's out of balance, out of harmony with your personal system. So <laughs> we want to work deeper and deeper, deeper into that commitment, commitment to your self love with this building, um, sun and Capricorn, Venus and Capricorn energy, even as we have Venus and Neptune engaged in this sextile energy. So that was like one of the first huge messages that came through. Now, in addition to that, Neptune has, especially Neptune and Pisces has karmic feels to it. Um, Maybe not so, so much karmic, but past life. Past life ties to it. And Venus represents relationships. So we may have some older things coming up, coming around to be processed. Now, again, the lesson is still aligned. Like, our, in your commitment to yourself, how do you respond? In your commitment to yourself, how do you, how do you stay in alignment? as you connect into whatever this thing that's coming up to be worked in and through. Um, top of the cards that I have today is the Beyond Illusion card in reverse. So there's an opportunity, Neptune energy, for those illusions. However, we're really called to get into the truth. So be real with yourself in and through this. Even if you're not ready to be real with the rest of the world or anybody else, how can you be real with yourself uh, through this connection? Now, just adding into all of this, we will have the moon finishing up in Aquarius and moving into Pisces. And that moon will shift at 419, 4, 
16 p.m. Um, Pacific time. So later in the day, large void course moon. And I really think the void course moon, it does take, take us into like uh, the deeper realms of the esoteric. Um, you may find some daydreaming come up. That may be how some of those past connections slip into it. That's okay. If it's coming up, believe there's a reason and there's a call to work through it. Although we are called also not to cling to the past, but to keep our forward momentum uh, with this energy. Um, moon into Pisces will meet up with Jupiter. Once again, I'm feeling that reminder of staying into balance and not going overboard. Between Moon and Pisces, Jupiter and Pisces, Neptune and Pisces, there can be that strong call to escape, whether it is through daydream or substances or disassociating, disassociating, I don't know if that's the right word, but like detaching from reality and like staying watching TV or things like that. Again, remember a big lesson of this week as the Sun and Venus are working together, or coming to work together, is that commitment to your personal responsibility, your commitment to your relationship with yourself. So even as you tune out and maybe, you know, tune into higher realms through whatever, you know, your path of that, <laughs> your not guilty pleasure, um, stay connected, stay balanced, stay committed to yourself in and through that. That feels really, really, really important as we keep moving through these energies. Last thing I want to mention, I brought it up in the write-up, but we do have the nodes at zero degrees. And those nodes at zero degrees, they are still squaring that Jupiter energy. So the moon's going to come through and enact it. Our work is not to fall into past patterns, but to keep moving into these changes that are ordained for us. And zero degrees, it is a degree of empowerment. There is a level of empowerment energy that is here for you in this. Um, let's see, how many cards did I show you? <laughs> I only showed you two of them, I guess. Uh, I have the courage card. Stay connected to your heart in and through this. The heart knows the way. And the heart knows how to stay in balance. A lot of times we like to, oh, my heart wanted that, but that is an excuse. <laughs> this is an excuse that the ego likes to throw out there because it does not want to take that responsibility, right? So stay connected to your heart in and through this. I do have the hermit card. Maybe take a little bit of time to reconnect in and through your energy. That might be some of that Neptune static coming in that could be serving some of the illusion energy. Um, and the final card, the rebirth card. Uh, the rebirth card feels like a reconnection to your innocence by both allowing pleasure and also making that commitment to yourself. So that's what I'm feeling with that energy. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope that served you. Uh, besides that, you can always book a reading with me. Email me, Mimi Clark. I still am going to be doing 2022 readings um, as we go through January. So if you are wanting one of those, you are not too late. Um, transit lists for all the shifts and retrogrades and all that, that's available as well. Email me about that. And besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And stay curious. Namaste.